Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. My name is Badr Khouri, and this is my colleague uh, Khaled Al Khouri. Today we'll do uh, we'll do a little presentation about uh, serious games. Serious games are mainly doing games to change the way that games are made today, instead of games that. Uh, uh, the main reason the games are killing action, war, they're doing games that educate. Games that completely change, change the way that uh, little children or grown-ups uh, play games. And uh, in this game, they, they did a game called Sweatshop. We'll talk about this game. Before we start about the game, we'll uh, have a little peek about the content. We'll talk about the, what is Sweatshop, and tr introduction about the game main characters, game strategies, uh, trailer, effects on players, uh, the users who play, what, what does it affect them, developers, rating, conclusion, reference. What is Sweatshop? Sweatshop is commonly known as a factory or a warehouse that employs uh, homeless and poor people and makes them uh, work hard to mass produce brands like shoes, shirts, bags, hats. They worked uh, very hard without uh, any rest. Well, it's a negatively connoted working environment. Uh, connoted working environment uh, relates it, rel it's related to uh, emotions. When the emotion in the working environment is whether displeasing or pleasing, uh, it will affect them. The, the sweatshop is uh, usually difficult and dangerous because uh, the machinery they use is uh, without safety. Poor people exploiting. They exploit poor people especially the kids, children, and uh, their wages are very low. I read about uh, an article, they pay them maybe uh, $20 a day, even if, if they worked uh, hard without bonuses, even 24 hours, it's the same. Hazardous materials, they use uh, old machinery without safety. Maybe uh, some of them, they have their hand cut, cut off, and no health, in, no health insurance, so, the, so they have to dump them in the street. And sometimes uh, the employer abuses the employees to make them work, to make them work hard. Right? To make them work hard. And in fact, a fact that happened, uh, happened in the Apple factory because of the employer abuse, uh, workers were committing suicide, jumping from a building. Now we'll talk about the game. The game is uh, it's not uh, horror or drama or anything. It's just a comedic game. It's a funny game where the, uh, the manager is always funny and uh, makes, makes fun of the employees. The game is all mainly about retail production, fashion. They uh, uh, produce uh, fashion uh, design, clothes, and the brand, the brand ones. The game is all about uh, greed. They want uh, to be the top of all the sweatshops in the region. They need more. They, need, they take out uh, the best of the employees, even if they worked hard. And then Monopoly, they want to control all the uh, retail production uh, sweatshops. This is uh, the manager, as we can see here. The manager is uh, harsh and always greedy on his employees. He never, care, he never cares about them. He don't, use, he don't uh, offers them health insurance, accommodation, or even uh, uh, house. They let them, they let them uh, sleep in a uh, store or outside in the garbage. <coughs> And this is the child who is responsible for all the employees, all the employees in the uh, factory. Now this is the president. Uh, she's a she because uh, it's a fashion uh, for a sweatshop. She's, a, uh, she's uh, when she every time when she hears the, there's a, a new brand uh, came up in the market, she tells the manager to start up and. Uh, uh, be top of the uh, brand and to control the brand. The game strategy. The game is all about levels. Every time you finish a level, you go to a next level. Every time you finish a level, it gets harder and harder. Every time you finish a, a level, you have a, a story. They outline you a real story about sweatshops. Uh, even promotions. That little boy gets a promotion. He's a little boy. He gets an assistant or a manager, uh, a vice president of the uh, factory. And uh, when you have enough money, when you gain millions and millions from this, you can uh, upgrade the factory to maximize the amount of employees in the uh, factory to produce more and more uh, items. And uh, before we, uh, Khalid uh, presents, uh, we'll show a little trailer about the game.
morning, gentlemen. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about the influence of the game on players. First of all, me and my partner, when we played the game, we we aware that uh, in other countries, peop, uh, factories like sweatshops, they exploit uh, workers and children. And uh, uh, these factories has has a lack of safety, of child safety. I feel the agony for them, and uh, I also. Uh, want to help the p poor people uh, who works in sweatshops because they have a lack of safety and a very low pay salary. The developers. This game were, was developed by Little Loud Company and the founder is Channel 4 Education. If you have any further questions, you could contact th those emails. Uh, me and Badr, we rated this game four, to five, 4 out of 5 because of the ribaldry and the profanity of this language. It had some bad language in the game. Uh, that's why we rated it 4 out of 5. In conclusion of this presentation, games for change were meant to change the games that are made today. And instead of having a action games, these games at least uh, gives you a feeling about how poor people live in other worlds and how do they have uh, very hard working conditions in their companies. Uh, those games are more educating and they are appropriate for all ages. Those are ref the references we got about the trailer and the uh, information we got about sweatshop and the uh, games for change. Any questions? children, they don't think as we think, as adults. They use it. You walk there, you come, take care of this uh, two dollars and buy a, a call. Oh, thank you. He, came to, uh, he comes back and work more harder. Mm -hmm. Well, well, working for uh, sweatshops is it's better than sleeping out in a dumpster or being homeless. At least he's doing something for his life. But sweatshops, you know, it's, uh, it's dangerous to machine it. What, uh, I saw a video about uh, an employee. Uh, gets his uh, fingers cut off, and in the video uh, he told us that uh, they didn't do anything. They just kicked me out of the fact. Mm -hmm. They told me go, go and stitch it by yourself. Right. But at the end of the day, we get the products that we want to buy, honey, honey, but the prices that we want to pay. So surely this is a good thing. But what if you was the child? The <laughs> well, I know. Come on. But uh, you should but think about them. But how, how can I be happy in that shirt? Maybe somebody spilled blood onto that shirt. Even, maybe, 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 maybe the, the shirts you're wearing now, maybe it's yeah. from sweatshops. Now we live in a mall, a little mall, or oh, Gucci, Armani, sweatshops. Now we live in a rich country, but we should uh, also think about them. Yeah. That's the point of the game. Yeah. Outside the classroom, what is it you've learned about this particular issue? 
what they have there. How has it affected you? Do you know about sweatshops or about people who are how, how has this all affected you when you were thinking? That we are more aware about uh, the children that they are working in these conditions. And if I want to help a, ch a child in the future, I would help these children. Mm -hmm. They have the first choices in my list. The first uh, priorities. How would you help them? I mean, we live in a rich country. If I had a business in the future, I might provide them here or open a factory that is safe for them. Maybe when was maybe tomorrow the financial crisis ends? Don't get that. Thank you. 